What's up everybody? Welcome to Minerals and Gems Pack channel. Today, we're diving deep into the world of gemstones, specifically emeralds. These vibrant green beauties have captivated people for centuries, but with their popularity comes a wave of fakes. Now I know what you're thinking. How can possibly tell a real emerald from a fake? And trust me, I get it, gemology can seem super intimidating, but it doesn't have to be. We're going to break down the process into five easy steps that anyone can use. So, whether you're a seasoned collector or just bought your first emerald ring, stick around, and I'll give you the knowledge and confidence to spot a fake a mile away. Let's do this. All right, first things first, the good old-fashioned eye test. Before we whip out any fancy tools, we're going to use the most powerful tool we have, our eyes. They are our first line of defense in identifying genuine emeralds. Now this isn't about just glancing at the stone, we're talking about a focused Sherlock Holmes level observation. You need to channel your inner detective, start by examining the emerald under good lighting. This is crucial because poor lighting can hide imperfections. Natural light is always best but a bright lamp will do the trick. The goal is to see the stone in the most revealing light possible. Hold the emerald up and rotate it slowly, paying close attention to how the light interacts with the stone. Notice the play of light and any changes in color or clarity. What are we looking for? Any telltale signs that scream, hey, I might not be a real emerald. Imperfections can be a big clue. One dead giveaway is a colorless girdle. This is a common feature in many fake emeralds. The girdle is the thin outer edge that runs around the widest part of the gemstone. It's an important area to inspect. In many fake emeralds, especially those made from glass or assembled stones, the girdle will appear completely colorless even if the rest of the stone is green. This is a major red flag. This is a major red flag. If you see this, it's time to be cautious. Another thing to watch out for is something called a foil back. This is a sneaky trick used to deceive buyers. This is a sneaky trick where a thin layer of green foil or paint is applied to the back of the stone to enhance its color. It can make a fake stone look more vibrant. You can often spot this by tilting the emerald and looking for any unnatural overly reflective areas on the surface. These reflections can give away the trick. Now, while these visual cues can be helpful, keep in mind that some imitations are getting incredibly sophisticated. They can be very convincing. That's why we don't stop here. Visual inspection is just the beginning. We're just getting warmed up. There are more tests and tools to use. So, let's move on to our next tip which involves one of an emerald's most prized characteristics, its color. The color can tell us a lot about the stone's authenticity and quality. Okay, let's talk color. The world of gemstones is vast and varied, but today we're focusing on one of the most captivating colors out there. When it comes to emeralds, not all greens are created equal. Each emerald tells its own story through its unique shade of green. A real emerald possesses a very specific, almost electric green that's both vibrant and rich. This green is what sets it apart from other gemstones. It's not just any old green, it's a green that just draws you in, captivating your senses and holding your gaze. Think of it like this. Imagine comparing the green of a traffic light to the green of a lush, tropical rainforest. The difference is striking. The traffic light is a flat, one-dimensional green, while the rainforest green is deep, layered, and full of life. This depth and complexity are what we seek in a genuine emerald. That's the kind of green we're looking for in a real emerald. It's a green that feels alive, almost as if it has a personality of its own. Now, emeralds can have slight variations in their green hues. These variations add to their uniqueness and charm. Some might lean towards a slightly bluish green while others might have a more yellowish green tint. These subtle differences can be fascinating to observe. However, the key here is that the green should always be vivid and intense, never dull or muddy. A dull green can indicate a lower quality stone. To get a better feel for this, it's helpful to compare your emerald to other green gemstones. This comparison can highlight the unique qualities of your emerald. For example, Peridot, another popular green gem, has a more yellowish green color that's easily distinguishable from the bluish green of an emerald. This contrast can help you appreciate the distinct beauty of each stone. Another thing to look for is what gemologists call brilliance or sparkle. This sparkle is a sign of a high-quality emerald. A real emerald will have a certain shimmery effect, especially when you rotate it under light. This shimmer is due to its internal structure. This is due to the way its internal structure interacts with light. The light bounces within the stone, creating a mesmerizing effect. 
Fake emeralds, on the other hand, often lack this lively sparkle. They might look convincing at first glance, but they don't have the same depth. They might appear dull or lifeless even if their color is somewhat convincing. This lack of sparkle is a telltale sign of a fake. Remember, color is a complex characteristic and it takes practice to develop an eye for it. The more you study, the better you'll become at identifying quality. But by paying close attention to the nuances of green and comparing your emerald to other stones, you'll start to get a feel for what's authentic and what's not. This skill will serve you well in your journey through the world of gemstones. All right, for this next test, we're going to get hands-on, literally. This one's all about feeling the energy, the vibes, the temperature. You heard me right. We're going to use our sense of touch to help us determine if an emerald is the real deal. Now, this might sound a little out there, but trust me, there's actually some science behind it. Natural gemstones, like our friend the emerald, have a unique thermal conductivity, meaning they transfer heat differently than other materials. Here's the deal. Gemstones tend to feel cold to the touch, especially when compared to something like glass. So grab your emerald and a piece of glass. A drinking glass will do just fine. Hold them separately in your hand for a few seconds. What do you notice? Chances are the emerald will feel noticeably cooler than the glass. This is because gemstones don't retain heat as well as glass or other synthetic materials. They tend to absorb heat from your hand quickly, leaving them feeling cool to the touch. Now, this isn't a foolproof method, as the surrounding temperature can play a role. If you're in a really hot environment, the difference might not be as noticeable. But in most cases, the temperature test can be a quick and easy way to weed out obvious fakes, especially those made from glass. Of course, we don't want to rely on just one test. We're building a case here, people. So, let's move on to another important factor, weight. All right, let's talk about weight. No, not the kind that makes you self-conscious, but the kind that helps us determine if an emerald is the real deal. You see, real emeralds have a certain heft to them, a density that sets them apart from their imitations. Think of it like this. Imagine holding a golf ball in one hand and a ping-pong ball of the same size in the other. The golf ball feels significantly heavier, right? That's because it's denser. It packs more mass into the same amount of space. Emeralds work similarly. They're denser than many other materials, including glass and some common emerald simulants. This difference in density translates to a noticeable difference in weight. Now, I know what you're thinking, Mark. I don't walk around with a pocket scale and you don't have to. This test is more about getting a feel for the weight difference. If you have access to a real emerald of a similar size, hold one in each hand. Pay attention to how they feel. The real emerald should feel noticeably heavier than the fake. If you don't have a real emerald for comparison, don't worry. Just remember that real emeralds have a certain heft. They feel substantial in your hand, not light or insubstantial like some fakes. Of course, this test is more of a general guideline than an exact science. The weight difference might be subtle, especially with smaller stones, but it's still a valuable tool to have in your arsenal when combined with our other tests. All right, folks, it's time to break out the big guns, the magnifying glass. This is where we get to play detective and uncover the hidden mysteries within our emeralds. This is where things get really interesting because we're going to peer into the very heart of the emerald and uncover its hidden secrets. It's like diving into a miniature world that tells the story of the gem's creation. Now before you say, Mark, I don't have a fancy gemological microscope, don't sweat it. You don't need high-end equipment to get started. A simple jeweler's loop or even a strong magnifying glass will do the trick. These tools are more than sufficient to reveal the fascinating details within the emerald. The goal here is to get up close and personal with the emerald's internal structure. By doing so, we can appreciate the natural beauty and complexity of these gemstones. See, real emeralds are formed deep within the earth under intense heat and pressure. This natural process is what gives each emerald its unique characteristics. This natural process often results in what gemologists call inclusions. These inclusions are like tiny time capsules, capturing the conditions under which the emerald formed. These are tiny imperfections like mineral crystals, fractures, or even little pockets of liquid or gas that become trapped within the emerald during its formation. Each inclusion adds to the gem's story. Think of inclusions like the emerald's fingerprints. Each one is unique and tells a story about the gem's journey from the earth's depths to your hand. They are a testament to the natural history of the stone. Now here's the thing, inclusions are actually a good sign in emeralds. They indicate that the gem is natural and has not been artificially created. 
They're a mark of authenticity, proof that the stone is natural and not lab-created. Inclusions are like a certificate of origin, verifying the gem's natural formation. Fake emeralds, especially those made from glass, often lack these natural inclusions. Their absence can be a clear indicator that the stone is not genuine. They might appear perfectly clean under magnification, which is a dead giveaway that they're not the real deal. A flawless appearance can often be a sign of a synthetic or treated stone. Another thing to look for is something called oiling. This practice is quite common in the emerald trade and can significantly affect the stone's appearance. This is a common practice in the emerald trade where a colorless oil or resin is used to fill in surface-reaching fractures and improve the stone's clarity. It can make the emerald look more appealing by reducing the visibility of inclusions. While oiling can enhance an emerald's appearance, it's essential to ensure it's been done ethically and not used to mask serious flaws. Ethical practices in gem treatment are crucial for maintaining the stone's value and integrity. When examining an emerald under magnification, look for any signs of overoiling, such as large, unnatural-looking filled areas or bubbles trapped within the oil. These can indicate excessive treatment. These could indicate that the emerald has been heavily treated to hide imperfections. Always be cautious and seek professional advice if you're unsure about the extent of treatment in an emerald. And there you have it, folks. Five easy tips to help you spot a fake emerald. Remember, knowledge is power, and by arming yourself with these techniques, you can confidently navigate the world of gemstones. Now I know it can seem like a lot to take in, but the more you practice, the easier it becomes. So, don't be afraid to get out there, examine some emeralds, and put your newfound knowledge to the test. And hey, if you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more awesome gemstone content, and share this video with your friends. Until next time, happy gemming.